Hello, this is uh, Team 35. I am Pranav Babulkar, a computer science graduate student at NC State University. And here with me are my teammates, Yash Thakkar and Puraj Dave, who are also graduate students in computer science at NC State. Today, we are going to talk here about our project forecasting financial time series using attention-based models. Uh, so we are using sequence to sequence model with attention mechanism for prediction of the stock prices and comparing it with vanilla LSTM model. We'll be doing five step ahead forecasting and comparing LSTM and sequence to sequence model with attention mechanism with accuracy as our metric. So for data, we are using Google stock prices for the financial year 2016 and 2017 uh, as our data downloaded from Yahoo Finance. We are also standardizing our data using min-max transform. We are considering only the closing prices of the stock uh, for training and have kept closing prices for the last five days to later test our model. The model is optimized using Adam Optimizer at a max learning rate of uh, 0.02. We chose this as Adam Optimizer adaptively changes the learning rate based on the loss in the previous iteration. In this project, we are training our model with five different random weight relations to make five different forecasts for the next five days. And then we decide on the best prediction or taking the average of all. So let us now look at the base model, which is long short-term memory recurrent neural network. LSTM overcomes the challenge of traditional RNN of not able to keep track of sequences and memorize them. It allows the network to learn based on the past sequences. So here is uh, how LSTM works in a nutshell. So we are giving it two vector inputs, which are hidden state zero and input vector one, which it processes and produces two output vectors, which are hidden state one and output vector one. The hidden state one vector is in the video here, um, is used as one of the input vectors in the next node. Uh, so here is the, here is the uh, unrolled RNN structure with X as input and H as uh, outputs and the connections between different nodes as another output vectors. So uh, my friend Pururaj will tell you more about uh, the LSTM model. So there it is. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now let us understand each component of involved in this repeating module of the LSTM network. So uh, basically uh, this horizontal line is the important one which uh, flows the information across each step. It is known as a cell state. And the information flow is regulated by three gates which is forget gate, input gate and output gate. This particular section is uh, forget gate. So with the help of sigmoid function, it uh, select the content of the forget gate which needs to be removed from the current cell state. Uh, then this particular section is the input gate. Uh, it adds or update the new information into the current state with the help of uh, sigmoid function and the 10H function which creates the new vector to be added in the cell state. So at this point we will get the new cell state value from the previous old state. And this section is the output gate, which basically filters out the required uh, components within the cell state that needs to be outputted at each uh, step, like the, this hidden state HT. Now let's move forward. So uh, these are the parameters which we will be using for our baseline LSTM network. We are using two layers with each layer size with 128 and learning rate is 0.01. And as discussed earlier, we are using Adam optimizer to find the minima. So uh, now uh, let's talk about our main model, which is the advanced uh, sequence to sequence model, which we'll be using over our baseline LSTM model. So uh, we are going to use a GRU based sequence to sequence bidirectional model with attention mechanism. Uh, the basic difference between GRU and LSTM is that GRU consist only reset gate and update gate, unlike LSTM, which compose of three gates. So uh, this due to its simplicity in structure, it is computed computationally uh, effective over LSTM. Now, pre, uh, now further details will be explained by my friend Yash. 
so basically sequence to sequence model is uh, about taking the sequence of input uh, into the encoder and uh, giving it to the uh, decoder state uh, as you can see uh, in this video there are uh, Encoder uh, input goes in, hidden state gets out, and uh, we use all those hidden states got out from the encoder RNA uh, and pass it through the attention decoder RNA. So in attention, we use all the hidden states which emerged out from the encoder to uh, predict the output for the particular sequence. So in uh, uh, so let's talk about the uh, in encoder state. It generally basically works like the normal RNA. It takes in the input and gets out the uh, Hidden state. So, in basically, decoder state. What happens is uh, uh, this. So, in decoding state, it takes uh, uh, three hidden state vectors, uh, and uh, had it has a H four state, uh, which it gets emerged from after the end token uh, is passed through the encoding state, and it takes the H four state and the three hidden uh, uh, hidden state uh, and uh, uh, makes context vector. Uh, uh, from the both of those and uh, pa and pass it along with to the uh, fully connected neural network and uh, uh, predicts the outputs and this type of process is uh, uh, again repeated for all decoder RNA inside. So basically, what happens? Uh, how so? How does it calculate the context vector? So uh, context vector is calculated using the uh, hidden state and the uh, 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 encoder hidden state and decoder uh, one decoder. Uh, uh, hidden state and uh, we learn the scores of uh, of the hidden state what to assign them uh, through the training and pass it, and uh, make it uh, pass it through them the softness score and uh, then uh, multiply the softness score to hidden state and uh, sum all the hidden state to uh, make the uh, context vector so as you can see here there sum and uh, we uh, make the context vector from there so this is the general basically uh, architecture of the uh, sequence division model encoder RNA this is encoder this is decoder part and here, here are these are the hidden states which emerge out from the encoder RNA and uh, it takes all the hidden states to the decoder RNA and pass along the uh, attention score so these are the uh, hyperparameters for us so we we'll, uh, took three layers so if each uh, three layers stacked on the other and the Length of the RNN is 128. We trained it for 300 epochs and learning rate was 0.02 and the dropout rate was 0.2. So, and uh, the re uh, how are we comparing the model is using accuracy. So, uh, we first calculate mean squared error, which is calculated from uh, subtract, uh, uh, subtracting real, uh, realized price and the predicted price divided by real price. So, basically, how much percentage difference was from the real price. And uh, subtract that um, number from one and multiply to 100 to convert into the percent discount. So here we can see the results we got from our uh, uh, training model. So here black line is the uh, true trend, and the uh, uh, other lines are the forecast model. So what we do is uh, train each model five times and uh, take the uh, five uh, five predicted time series, and uh, uh, the average accuracy here is the 93 percent. So as you, uh, and uh, this is the uh, predicted uh, forecasting series for the from tech sequence to sequence model, and we got the average accuracy of 96%. So uh, here, the, here again, the black line is the true trend. Here, the x-axis is the day, and the uh, y-axis is the price. And same thing repeats in the, uh, this graph also. So, so as you can see, the sequence to sequence model clearly increased the accuracy of the forecasting model. Uh, compared to the vanilla LSP, and that's it from our side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.